Power is popping is JC Flores, aka Party Life Music, aka the Mashup Records, and I'm checking in with you guys right here for another tutorial, awesome tutorial, uh, for DJClasses.com. So make sure you hit like and subscribe the button here on YouTube, and if you haven't done so, log on to DJClasses.com, register with us, and we're actually gonna email you five free tips on how you can become a better DJ. You have doper, fresher DJ, you know, regarding your sets, regarding your production, and you just being an overall superstar. Pow! Yeah, that's right. Congratulations to all the DJs that have subscribed and uh, have been watching with us so far. I hope that you guys are um, enjoying the content and the, uh, you know, the, the videos that we're releasing. And like I said, uh, today's special video is going to be regarding quick hitter edits. Uh, one of the reasons why... Uh, you would want to make a quick hitter edit, or at least I would, is if I had to go through a decade's worth of music, and instead of playing the whole song in, in its entirety, I just want to find the really good parts. So I'm looking for the chorus, the first verse, uh, the second verse probably, or half of the second verse, the intro, um, you know, and then obviously the outro. Um, so before I start, um, the most important thing is to go back, check out our previous videos and tutorials that discuss warping, BPMs, blends, because some of those techniques you're actually going to be able to apply uh, with you know, uh, the tutorial that we're going over today. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and begin. Um, I actually brought in an original song. This is called Playtime. Um, it's off of my Olympus 2 EP. And uh, the original tempo of the song is at 128. But if we go over here, we notice that the master tempo is at 105, and we cannot have it at 105 because it, it's going to sound really slow. It's going to sound something like this. I mean, it doesn't sound too bad, but obviously for you know quick hitter edit purposes, if this is at 128, then this has got to match at 128, the master tempo. So now we're just going to go ahead and start warping really quick. Again, make sure to look at the video uh, regarding warping as I discuss that into further detail. Uh, so I could tell right now that this is the first downbeat. I'm going to go ahead and tell Ableton I want to set this at the first downbeat, uh, first kick of the song, and I'm going to warp it straight. So if I do that, cool, and it's already there. Uh, so if you remember every eight bars you add eight it's every eight bars. so one plus eight is nine nine plus eight is seventeen and as you can see here just looking at the waveform you know once it hits that seventeen mark it's this is where the break of the song is and so this particular song is an EDM now every genre is different when it comes to uh, making quick hitter edits but for EDM purposes it's actually kinda good to just find the intro find the first break um, and then you decide which you know, um, drop you want to use. Is it the first drop or the second drop? Now, particularly with my kind of stuff, um, it's always different. It doesn't always sound the same. Um, and I don't like to sound the same. Uh, but again, everybody's different. So let's go back to work. I could turn the metronome on. So I already did that. Everything is nice and warped. So 
So I just wanted to randomly play at different parts of the song so you can tell that it's on beat, it's on the metronome. The next thing I would do is uh, I would like to search for symbols, and in this case I already kind of loaded that up for you guys. So um, what I like to do is I'll take a symbol, right, uh, and it's warped. Uh, then what I'll do is I'll copy it. So let's just copy this. And then I'll reverse it. And I go down here and I hit reverse. So it kind of gives it this like, whoosh, like swoosh effect. So if I mute this, or solo this actually, so you can hear it. See? So that's cool. And that kind of helps, you know, it doesn't sound too hard or too cold, you know, when it transitions from one 8 bar to another 8 bar. Uh, but let's go. So this is the intro. So you know what? I don't want such a long intro, so I'm going to cut that. Boom! There's a break, and then we got. So now I'm going to find out which drop I want to start there with. So I'll just cut it from here just to let me know. So I think what I'll do is, um, instead of starting off with the first, I'll probably start off with this. Uh, yeah. So I'll trim that out, and I'll just tell it I want it to start from right there. And it actually worked out. Imagine that. Just cut that. See, so what I could do is I guess I mean but then again you know why would I want to extend it because that's what I did here is I just cut this but this is an, an eight bar right here One, two, three, four. and there you have it and what I would do is I'll just use this to kind of help transition that. And there you have it. So we took a song uh, that normally is, let's see here, just so we know. Of course. All right, so let's just say this song is at, what does that say, 318? 
And that's 726. So three, four, so like 4 minutes and 12 seconds, 13 seconds, something like that. And we trimmed it down to... So it starts at 30. And that... And so, so basically like two and a half minutes, almost three minutes that we trimmed out just to shorten this to make it into a dope quick hitter. So once we do that, see and then all the good parts, all the juicy parts of the song just come in and it fits really, really well. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, if you if you can see my mouse right here on the lower uh, right of your screen where it says master, you always want to make sure that you have a limiter on. Um, I talked about that in previous videos when it comes to warping, you know, because if I turn that off and I play it, it's kind of like redlining if you see that right there. And you see, it's starting to redline and clip. So you don't want that. You always want to make sure that you have a limiter. Turn that bad boy on. That keeps you guys from redlining. Anyways, guys, uh, this is just a small video on how to make a quick hitter edit. Uh, again, remember that every genre is different. So with EDM, you know, you have a little bit more flexibility because you can just move drops and breakdowns, uh, you know, around, especially if there's no vocals. Uh, but in the next quick hitter video where I actually go into more depth about quick hitter edits, um, you know, we'll be studying how to basically make a quick hitter edit, you know, uh, with songs that have, you know, words, lyrics on them, and how to best optimize them, you know, for your DJ set performance. So guys, make sure you hit like, subscribe, comment us right here at DJ Classes on YouTube, and if you haven't done so, log on to djclasses.com you know subscribe with us we're actually going to send you five free dj tips to make you sound doper fresher than anybody else around you because you are a dope dj and we are here to make sure that you sound and look and present yourself like a dope dj anyways guys thank you for watching this is jc floors aka party life music with djclasses.com